I want to leap over buildings, want to fly over the shores, save the people from the villains, catch the crooks who rob the stores, write my name upon the sky, and when you call me, I'll be there, faster than a lightning flash. Rushing through the cool night air oh, 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 oh. So start ignition, count to zero I just wanna be a superhero oh. Okay, so uh, welcome back to Hubba Hubba's Smack Downs, or XCOM 2 Smackdowns, um, and this uh, this game I'm playing against the Slow Blade game. Uh, he brought Bravo 3-0, I think this time, and I've picked up uh, Coop's Toxic Ticks, as we can see here. I actually picked, found this uh, arrangement on the internet as being a <laughs> as being a prized or a potential winning squad, so I thought I'd give it a trial for for novelty value. So there's one gatekeeper and four chrysalids, which we uh, saw had quite a good devastating effect in the uh, in the first game of the series when they played against me. Um, so I thought uh, I'd give these toxic ticks a go. As you can see from this, we're playing in a, a sort of like a quick game concept, which limits each of the players to ten thousand points within your squad value. Think of it as like a fantasy football; you're only allowed to spend so much money. And it keeps things um, equal between the two uh, opponents as a balancer. So the uh, the gatekeeper is probably the second highest um, um, class in the game. It's an alien class, um, bettered only really by the sector pod. And these chrysalids have the opportunity to bury and um, and do surprise attacks, but then change. Um, <coughs> Change the people that they've killed into chrysalid uh, eggs and cocoons, sorry, that spawn more chrysalids. Okay. Um, I'm actually doing a voiceover um, shoutcast, if you like, for this particular video. Um, although I will keep some of the original video for effects. Oh, great. <laughs> so, straight away here with a random map generator. Um, we find ourselves in a facility or a, um, um, a sort of like a, an urban landscape, which actually uh, was a fail for me, because <laughs> the chrysalids couldn't bury themselves. Um, so yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't a good start right from the get go. In the Not custom sure. game options, you do get an opportunity to change uh, the game uh, formats. To exactly what you want, as we can see with that gatekeeper, um, has a total disregard for any of the environment, no damage, you can just smash through everything, just like a, uh, a sector pod can. So after the first game what I realised was maybe charge out quite quickly to establish um, uh, a sort of your territory. I think in the first game I was a little bit more cautious doing um, overwatch movers, maneuvers, uh, which serves you quite well in uh, in the player versus computer type campaign. But really, in the first couple of s first couple of opening moves in in a player a PvP game, isn't going to serve you any purpose really. Hmm. So one of the frustrations I've found is um, when it's the opponent's turn you don't get to move the map initially so you've got uh, you're really restricted in terms of what you can do you can't scout around looking for new locations or potential areas of interest um, but as the countdown time wears on you do actually get that scrolling capability So <clears throat> one of the things you quickly realise is that uh, 90 seconds, certainly with a full squad of six players, uh, isn't a great deal of time. So, so back to my turn. 
and what I'm trying to do is still orientate myself a little bit, although the direction of travel that I'm facing in, in reality is, is where the map's going. But those are the sorts of clues that you're looking to establish um, early doors in the game. Obviously being a little bit more cautious with this manoeuvre, um, so I'm looking to uh, take take advantage of the terrain and or look for uh, overwatch positions. One of the benefits of the chrysalids is they do seem to get uh, a longer uh, movement distance. Uh, quite speedy little scampers as you can see. Um, one of the disadvantages of playing with uh, somebody on, on Team Talk or FaceTime as they're doing this game is, uh, is my opponent, uh, or I could hear to a degree what the other person was doing from the sound effects um, on our screens. So I made the point of um, of muting my, my audio at critical moments during the game. I wouldn't worry too much about what it sounds like over here. <laughs> Uh, so that was uh, obviously the slow blade commenting on on the noise of my aliens getting a little bit closer to him. So where's he at? He's on 40 odd seconds left. And the reality is I should be checking a little bit around the map to see what, what's in front of me. Going back to that 90 second um, observation I made, obviously the, the more complex your team, um, or the more complex the components on your team, then the, the the more of a time thief it can be in terms of um, just tactically tactical awareness and getting all of your troop manoeuvres done within time frame. And when you throw in um, a combatant that you're trying to attack, then uh, that can really steal time. So we're coming up to uh, my turn shortly. A little blip noise. Here we go. That was an attempt at humour to the slow blade there. Yeah, I saw from game one that the crystals have quite a decent jump ability. So it negates the need for uh, stairs or uh, points of ingress to get up to uh, to the top of the roof. I just jump up there. Mm. Keep missing all of the, uh, the critical animations for you, so apologies for that. There we go, look at that. He jumps buildings in sing single bounds. Ah uh, yeah, my first taste of understanding that, oh, tile is not ground. Yeah, <clears throat> I think uh, what I was going to do is prepare a nice handy ambush area up top here thinking that uh, the slow babe is going to try and take uh, this central island as a, as a potential strategic point. But not being able to bury myself has, uh, has killed that 
surprise. Not sure what um, what happened there. Maybe a bit of the uh, building collapsing where it uh, entered the building with the gatekeeper. I don't think it was an attack. So I can obviously pick up some audible cues that uh, he isn't too far away from me. Maybe I should have been a little bit more cautious um, in terms of in terms of my, uh, in terms yeah. of my next moves. It's not a particularly great map, is it? I think that's me voicing my concerns about not being able to do a berry ambush. seconds come on over what should we make so the plan was to have the crystals in the background with the gatekeeper leading the charge with the higher armor uh, quotient and sure enough he's uh, set up a, an overwatch ambush for me probably having heard me smash through the building a little bit well, that was a nice waste and I've already lost 30 seconds, a full third of my uh, game moves. I'm still very much in uh, PVE, or player versus the environment, where you know, the luxury of time is pretty much on your side. Yes, we find Earth. That was a that was a fail. I thought the uh, the the tile selected was somewhere on the ground. Obviously, it wasn't. So I think from memory, it's not the first time I make that error. Yep, there we go again. Now I'm getting probably a little bit frustrated with myself because I can see time's ticking on. See if we get it right this time. Uh, so I'm on the. Yes, that works. Nine seconds left. <laughs> yes. Effective squad play, that's what we like. Should really be trying to look around, to see if I can capture any of his. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm probably frozen out at this moment in time. As I said, you don't get to move the map initially on the opponent's turn. Ah, 
So as you can see there, that was a, the, the chrysalid going down. Uh, because you're not completely privy to all of your opponent's moves, you don't always get to see all of the action on the screen, which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, so sometimes all you've got as an indication of what's happened is the markers that come up on the screen. Fairly ineffectual. Yeah, I think I'm probably come to a little bit of uh, decision paralysis in the uh, in the mid part of the game probably out of the belief that um, it's probably going to go, take me two turns to uh, get within close combat range with his uh, with his troops. So now I'm thinking, well, what do I do? <laughs> so my immediate thought was obviously to try and do some flanking action where I potentially couldn't see me approaching him from the a full full frontal bonsai attack. Um, to something that was a little bit more oblique. And second overwatch. And two misses. No, nope, that is not ground. <laughs> There's no burrowing going on in this game. Fail. Really amazing. Uh, that's the realization coming home to uh, to rest with me in game. See, so yeah, I'm down to eighteen seconds. And I'm still pussyfooting around, and haven't moved my my main attacking unit yet. Now oh, really, I'm beginning to panic. Oh yes. Oh, we score a kill. With two seconds to spare. I did lucky there. That was a bit of a panic maneuver, I think. Now I had no problem with a capital piece like this being in the centre of the board because it can absorb a lot of damage um, and what I wanted it to do is to focus the, uh, the enemy's shots on target whilst to then move the chrysalids in for <laughs> flanking attacks which obviously isn't working uh, my, the slow blade isn't playing along with my master plan does he do next? Oh, okay. Looking to flank my gatekeeper a little bit. Oh no! No, he's taken out one of my chrysalids. So one, one by-product of that is uh, it makes my Maneuvering time a little bit easier on the next round as there's less pieces to move. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I guess he's strategizing as to what he's going to do with the gatekeeper. So he's shredded two armor, which effectively means he's taken two of the armor, um, two, two of the armor layers off, which are uh, indicated by the yellow dots next to the health bar there. So I've got three layers of armor left, which will absorb superficial damage before they start, uh, or lessens the amount of actual damage. Doesn't lessen it as much of a miss, obviously. So they're always uh, gratefully accepted. Lots of time. I have noticed some latency where it says out of time and where an attack goes down. Ah, uh, there we go. So he's obviously set off his attack okay, yeah. before the time will run down, but um, the latency in the game stopped me from no, seeing it immediately. Now, open the shell. I've never played the gatekeeper, but it does lessen your armor, or it takes away your armor protection actually, but it gives you some more interesting attacks. Hmm. That had to be worrying from his perspective initially. It looked like quite a good. Uh, Good initial attack result from from, from myself. And now there's a, obviously the hope that he's shell shocked and I'm moving in the uh, the second line troops. Why I'm not trying to attack this guy that's closest to me? I've no idea. Other than yeah. I thought potentially uh, this guy was going to come to an attack quicker and die quicker, hence increasing the number of troops I've got over the more armoured uh, colleague to his right. That's predicated on the fact that he tries to survive this uh, my opponent's next round. Obviously, trying to calculate the order of attack for best effect or optimum effect on target. Oh, that had to hurt him. So that recasing is an automatic reflex to damage, and as you can see, what am I down to? Um, five points there. Oh, <laughs> quite a few less there. <laughs> and, uh, and zero life at that point. So I think this novelty, uh, <laughs> novelty game hasn't done me any favours. I had a crap line ground, I couldn't bury myself in any of this crap, so uh, <laughs> it's just uh, it's just pig shit.
Now, can I get uh, a chrysalid attack? Well, not with that one. Thinking here was. Oh! <laughs> a miss. <laughs> yes, uh, that was both of us laughing at just how ineffectual that chrysalid was. Oh, my, that, that was fucking diabolical. That was a slow blade moaning about the quickness of my retreat and um, wonder if my game plan was to get him to chase me to the other end of the map. Man down. I am now officially down to one chrysalid. So um, the slow blade's obviously trying to arrange um, his forces in a not in an ambush, but in, a, in an area where he can try and get some visibility in terms of my movement. What? He's come back. Obviously saw me through the uh, through the roof there. Or a skylight. And there we go. That was the end of uh, game two, with a absolute loss to me. I want to leap over buildings, want to fly over the shores, save the people from the villains, catch the crooks who rob the stores, write my name upon the sky, and when you call me, I'll be there, faster than a lightning flash, rushing through the cool night air.